Hey, what's up, Improvement Warrior? Jason Yun, back with you again. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Today, I wanted to make a quick video going over a couple different programs. One that I've been using for years, and another one that I was I've just started using about three months ago. So, uh, what's up, Sean? How you doing? So, this is uh, basically their blue light filters for your computer. So they are, um, it's very important to block the blue light. Uh, if you don't know by now, I have a blue light seminar webinar coming up in a couple of weeks, and that's just part one, because um, there's so much. The differences between the two programs. So the Flux, uh, F.L.U.X is what I used to have on my computer, and I still have it on my laptop, but I'm getting ready to switch it. Um, Flux is what I've used for years, but recently learned it is not good enough. And um, it's especially not good enough in this day and age, and especially if you're not wearing the blue blocking glasses during the day, um, or computer glasses, or video game glasses, whatever you Computer, and I've got to do this on my laptop, but because for some reason I can't go live on my phone. Um, but this is Flux. Okay, let me see if, see if I can use this here. All right, so this is Flux on my computer right now. Um, I don't know if you can see the difference, but I will turn Flux off completely. And... Okay, so it is off completely. Now, my computer screen is at 6,500 Kelvin. Um, that's the temperature, color temperature. Uh, a lot of screens will, they'll either go to 5,500 to 6,500 Kelvin, and they emit, uh, at that temperature range, they're emitting the most dangerous blue light uh, that there is. Okay, um, so this is 6,500 Kelvin, and then I will, Turn it back on. Okay, and then it goes down to 2700 Kelvin, which is, okay, it's going pretty slow, so I don't know if you can see it going down there. And it will go down to 2700 Kelvin, which is the lowest that flux can go. Um, but it's still kind of uh, bright and still emitting some blue light. And then the other program is Iris. So this is the one I recently switched to. So I will completely shut Flux off. And I'll open Iris. Okay, and that's Iris. So during the day, I've got Iris set up to, and Iris's settings is so much better. Um, I've got Iris set up at 17 for the blue light. Um, or for the, for the setting. So that's at 1105 Kelvin. So as you can see, there's a lot more red in here. Blue light is completely, almost completely taken out. And then at night, if I'm working late, it will go down to zero. So it's basically no blue light coming from the computer. Okay. Um, so quite big differences between the two programs. So 11105 is what I use it at. And then Flux would only go up to 2700, or that was the lowest that Flux could go down to. But you can set the settings so it can go back to, you can set the settings so it will go, it will automatically turn. But I just keep the settings where they are all day long, pretty much. And so if you are on your computer a lot, then that's something that needs to be on your computer. And the blue blocking glass is also something that needs to be worn, even if you have that um, type of uh, blocker on there, okay? Because what I will be discussing in the blue light uh, seminar, webinar, is that obesity starts in the eye, okay? And that's very controversial for a lot of people, and most people won't believe it, okay? But... The four most important surfaces of your body is your eye, your skin, 
your gut, and your lung. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly how obesity starts in the eye, why it does, and why you need to be blocking the blue light because it's it's basically the reason for every single disease that you know and don't know. Okay, and it's the reason we are in this obesity epidemic and all that stuff. Okay, it's not so much the food, not so much lack of exercise. Okay, that plays a part of it, but the big issue is all the light and the non-native EMF, which I will discuss in detail as well. But um, yeah, so that is it on this. So very important to get these filters. Go with Iris. Uh, it is it's $15, so, but it's so much better than Flux. So Flux is free. I don't know if they have a paid version or not, but Iris the settings are so much better. You can set them up and you can take that blue light out. Okay, because um, if the eye goes, then that's the first sign that uh, some major disease is coming. So usually the first sign is myopia, which is just nearsightedness, and then the eyes just continually decline and decline. Uh, you keep needing to get more and more powerful prescriptions every few years or every decade, and that's not the way it should be, okay? So our eyes are basically a camera, uh, we use it to see everything, but it also controls a lot more stuff behind the scenes. Um, so I did my 13 pillars webinar, and the number one most important thing on that is circadian biology. And the eye, and getting the right frequencies and the right type of light into our eye is the most important thing. Okay? So, if you have any questions on this, let me know. And... Um, I'll post the, the link for the Blue Light Seminar. It's coming up March 14th in Hilliard, and I'll do a webinar very, very shortly after that. But if you need help, let me know. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the Improvement Warrior. <clears throat>